Hey everybody, we're going to jump in and look at the new filtering capability in Oily Tools. I've got my Oily Tools emulator pulled up here. Uh, the first thing we want to do is pull up a report. So we go to the More tab, and any one of the reports that are offered in Oily Tools um, can be filtered. I'm going to use the Custom Report uh, because that's just a blank report that has no filters currently applied to it. You could use any of these reports and apply filters to it, and I'll talk just for a minute about why you might do that um, in a second. So I'll go to custom report. What you get in custom report initially is just your downline. There's no filters that have been applied. And you'll see I'm logged in with dummy information here. There's Jane Doe everywhere. Um, the important thing to note is in the top right, you have two buttons, two new buttons. The one we're gonna focus on is this filter button. So when you think about a report, a report has already got pre-filters applied to it. So if you click on the executive plus report, there's already really a filter applied that we're looking at people at the rank of executive or above for you. Now you can apply additional filters and even narrow it down even further. So when I go into custom report, just think of that as there's no filters that have been applied by the backend oily tool system yet. So when we click filter, we get a page that explains <clears throat> that the way we add filters is by clicking the plus sign. This new rewrite of our reporting engine gives you the capability to do what we call filter stacking. In our old way, you couldn't say things like, give me people with a uh, PV greater than you know, 150 and less than 300. You could only do one of those. And in this new version, you can actually stack filters. Use the same filter, but use two of them to really narrow down uh, a group of people. So an example report may be, let's try to find people who are scheduled for ER, their ER order hasn't processed yet, so we still have time to help them modify it. And let's try to find people who are gonna miss the first promo in Young Living, which is at 190 PV. So the way I would achieve that is I would click plus. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say um, ER processed is false. So the, I look at this list of filters and I'm hoping there's an ER processed filter that I can leverage, and there is. So I choose ER processed and I only want the ones that have been, um, that are still marked as false, meaning those ER orders have not processed. And it comes back to the filters page and shows you that you've applied an ER filters false, or excuse me, an ER processed false filter. Now I want to narrow down on the people with a certain ERPV. And for me, I'm only going to call people maybe that are between 170 and under 190. I want to make sure they're close enough that really a phone call and them adding one, maybe two small products to their order would get them their promo. I'm probably not gonna call people that are only at say 100 PV because they still have to add 90 more PV of product to get to the promo. So I would say ERPV, first I want it to be less than 190, meaning they are missing the promo. And see it says ERPV less than 190, but I only wanna call those who are greater than 170. So I'm going to add another filter and I'm going to stack that ERPV filter and I'm going to add another ERPV filter and I'm going to say the greater than 170 and save it. So if I look at my filter, I'm looking for people with an ERPV less than 190, greater than 170, and the ER processed is false. And when I run that report, this is giving me a, giving me a list of all people whose ER order hasn't processed who are 20 PV or less away from actually getting their, uh, their first promo uh, for this month's order. Now, if we go back to filters, uh, I'm gonna reset this filter, and you can see just how many filters you have access to. Now, some filters use a, a pattern of you just choosing one thing, like member type, you're either gonna choose customer or member, meaning distributor. In organization, you can put a comma separated list of, uh, of, I, of member IDs in here and it'll only search within those legs. You can also exclude uh, uh, exclude legs using the not in organization, same thing. You would um, you know, use their member numbers, comma separated if you wanna exclude multiples. You can look at if it was enrolled by certain uh, people, sponsored by, Current rank is a multiple select, so if I only want senior stars, silvers, and diamonds, I can you know choose those, and I'll just show you what happens when I do that. If I click save here or the checkbox, it'll tell me 
you know, you're looking for these ranks in your downline. So I'll reset that. But if you look through here, there are, I want to say roughly 30 different filters you can apply. Um, and these can all be applied in conjunction with each other. So you can, you can really kind of dive deep into your, into your team and isolate certain pieces of information that kind of tell you a story about what's going on. And, and the fun part about reports is thinking up what reports would be useful for your business. So the ER report that we ran a moment ago, I think that's a great report really for any business because then you can look for, well, let me see people who may be qualified for the first promo but are missing the second promo or they, you know, they, they, they made the second promo but not the third promo. Or maybe you want to use it as an opportunity to find people who should be on ER that's not on ER. So you might say, I'm going to look for people who had a, a PV greater than 190. So if I do PV greater than 190, uh, greater than or equal to actually, this will tell me people who have already placed an order and their PV was greater than 190. And I'm going to say that their ERPV is zero. And what that's telling me is that they placed 190 PV worth of order, which could be one or multiple orders, we don't know. Uh, but they did it with no ER. And this is, a, this is a group of people that you could call and educate about essential rewards because they are already buying product. They just aren't doing it on essential rewards. So if I were to run this, I'd get back a list of people, and this list of people are people I should probably uh, reach out to. Now, you could filter it even further and say, because um, this could potentially bring back a professional account or a customer, uh, because if their PV was greater than 190 and their ERPV was zero, they'd still come back. So I can further narrow it down and say, well, I only want it to be distributors, right? And I could save that. And again, I'm, I'm continuing to filter filter this down. And this would be a great care call list. This would be a group of people you would call and ask them, do they know about Essential Rewards? Do they know about this loyalty program where they get percentage back on orders that they place and the other benefits of Essential Rewards? So that's all against the custom report. Oh, and just while I'm here, this new feature right here is actually an export button. If you click the export button, it'll actually let you export the, the results um, of the report to your email to your email address as a CSV, which you can then open in Excel or or do whatever you you know do use it as a, a list for doing mail merge and different programs. Um, but it's a great way for you to get get that data out of Oily Tools. From the filter perspective, you could also run this on any other existing report. So if we look at New Rankers, for example, if I go to New Rankers, and if you um, congratulate maybe the first X level of people um, that's in your team for new rankers, you could take the new rankers report, which is a list of new rankers across your entire organization, and then you can apply a filter to it. And maybe the filter that you apply is, I only recognize maybe the people in my first five levels, less than or equal to five. So this will take the new ranker report and then apply an additional filter on top of it to narrow it down to your first five levels. Or maybe you only do your personally enrolled or Maybe you want new rankers that are um, silver and above because maybe you're going to do something special for that group. So again, you can take an existing report and then just apply additional filters on top of that. When you're, when you're trying to just create new ways to do filtering and learn new things about your team, most likely you're going to be in the custom report area. In the future, what we're hoping to be able to do is when you create an interesting report like our you know, our, 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 our report where we showed that they were missing their first promo, that's a report you could see yourself running all the time. Well, right now in Oily Tools, you can't really save those filters and call it something. And what we're hoping to be able to achieve in a future release is the ability for you to create a, a list of filters and then call it something. Maybe it's the first level promo misser and then save that. And then you can run that report with your custom setup filters at any time. And then even beyond that, what we're hoping to be able to do is let you create those filters, save it and call it something, and then schedule for Oily Tools to run that report on your behalf at certain times in the month and email you the result. So maybe you want every Monday 
your you know your promo missing report that we created to be sent to you via email every Monday of the month. Uh, our hope is that once we get the ability for you to save them and call them something, then after that we can introduce a feature where you can say, all right, now I want this report to run every Monday and I want it to be emailed to me. Um, so that's some future stuff that's coming in the report filters. Hopefully this has helped you get a, a better idea of how you use these filters. And like I said, the really fun part is figuring out what, what could you do with the filters to learn more interesting things about your team. Thanks. Well, that's it for this video. We look forward to sharing more videos with you guys in the future.